Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and we're doing the next free response question from the AP uh, Physics 1 2017 exam. So this is question number four. A physics class is asked to design a low friction slide that will launch a block horizontally from the top of a lab table. Teams one and two assemble the slides shown above and use identical blocks one and two. Both slides start at the same height D above the tabletop. Uh, okay. Uh, however, Team 2's table is lower and Team 1's table. To compensate for the lower table, Team 2 constructs the right end of the slide to rise above the table tat so the block leaves the slide horizontally at the same height H above the fl floor as Team 1's block. Both blocks are released from the top at the respective slides. Do block 1 to lay them at the same distance? Okay, so they, they both leave at the same height, right? And it, presumably they don't lose any energy along the way because it's frictionless. Well, we'll say low friction, but um, but what's going to happen is um, block. So what you do when there's no friction, no energy loss, is conservation of energy. All of this height, this potential energy here, gets converted into kinetic energy. But this height and this, like he is only d minus h above where they finish out, so he has less potential energy than this guy. So this guy's going to come out with a lower velocity, like less potential energy is getting converted. So no, block one lands further because it starts with more um, more potential energy. That part's pretty easy. In another experiment, teams one and two use the tables and low friction slides with the same height. However, the two slides of different shape is shown below. Both blocks are released from rest. Which block, if either lands further from the respective table? Um, same distance. Beca and here is the same distance because, um, again, it's energy conversion. It's converting the potential energy to kinetic energy. So it'd be about the same. Um, the same potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. So it has the same, um, the same amount of potential energy, and that implies the same velocity. Right, because the kinetic energy is one half mv squared. If it has the same kinetic energy, it has the same velocity. If it has the same velocity, then they'll both go the same distance because they're launched horizontally at the same height. Which block, if either hits the floor first, um, they hit the at the same time. They hit the same time because um, they both start like when they're launched. When launched when launched, both start with no vertical velocity, no initial vers vertical velocity, and they start at the same height. So they're both gonna, uh, you know, the only thing that governs how long it, t it stays in the air is how is, is gr the, f the effect of gravity, you know, causing it to fall to the ground. Um, since they both start with no vertical velocity when they're launched, um, then, they'll, then they'll fall at the same rate. Okay, so that was a really qualitative question. It's kind of weird. Let's take a look at the scoring guidelines for that one. Question four, answer is no. Um, the amount of potential energy converted is different for the two blocks. The potential is proportional to the change in height, which is smaller for block two. Therefore, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, that's what we reasoned out. Um, the two blocks land the same distance because the same change in potential energy, kinetic energy. Correct answer is block one. Wait, what was the question?
Oh, they're saying from, oh, 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 I see, I see. What they're saying is that um, block two will, because they release them at the same time, block two, while well, they'll start off at the same velocity here, um, by the time he gets, like, this guy's faster because he's just steeper. Like, he gets from here to here faster, and then this guy gets from here to here. However, the actual fall time is the same. It's just from here to, oh, that's a tricky question. I was wondering why I was thinking that it was a little off on that one. That is true. I didn't think about that. This would slide faster than this one. Um, by the end, they'll have the same velocity, but this one will just get there faster, right? Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I didn't get that one. So... Two points. Yeah, okay. Didn't get that right. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, I kind of messed that one up. I lost two points in that one, so it's disappointing. But I hope it made sense, and I hope you learned something from um, watching me do the problem. And this just goes to show I don't look at the solution before I do the problem. Clearly, otherwise, I would have gotten that right. So uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And I will see you in the next video where we'll do the final free response question. Thanks.